And as the calendar flips to 2021, just moments from now, some bars here in Fort Wayne are celebrating a little different. Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Vince Loverjean shows us how. Vince. Carly Welch's Ale House and Tower Bar and Grill were welcoming customers to ring in the new year. As 2020 comes to a close here shortly, there are some changes in how they're celebrating. Some people I talk with say they're hoping 2021 is more promising and that we can gather safely once again. Welch's Ale House is one of many bars in Fort Wayne celebrating the new year. But with the ongoing pandemic, it's all about sticking with safety precautions. We're going to keep being safe. We're going to keep, you know, operating at 50% and we'll be closing at 10 o'clock tonight. Front of house manager David Skaliski says they would usually have a band or comedian coming to the Ale House, but that wasn't possible. However, they still wanted to make it special for those who support them. That's kind of a special thing in restaurants and you build relationships over time. And you get to, I personally get to spend a lot of my time with people that I get to see on a regular, regular basis. He also says they did a midnight toast at 10 as 2021 nears. Even though restrictions were lifted, Welch's Ale House still decided to close after their toast. One frequent customer, David Jones, tells me he's happy to have a fresh start. At this stage of the year, yes, I, I'm, I'm glad it's over and I'm hoping that uh, some good things start next year. Heading over to Tower Bar and Grill, where they will stay open till 3 a.m., bartender Amy Hicks says they will have a toast and countdown. She says this year is like no other, and she's ready for what's to come. I think you're always happy that a new year is coming to see what the future holds, but I'm definitely uh, excited to see what we're, what we're going to have next year. Michael Thomas is a regular customer at Tower Bar and Grill. He tells me many people have learned a lot this year, and Thomas says we've got to come together and support each other. We need to do things to kind of be to the point where we take care of each other again. Start getting back to taking care of one another, care about what people do, love each other. Tower Bar and Grill was also offering carryout and curbside for their customers who didn't feel comfortable dining in. Bulger's Ale House, on the other hand, say they will keep the same restrictions in place and appreciate the support from the community during this pandemic.